Okay, let's carry on with this slide. In the previous video, we stopped uh, after the first half of slide 14 on the postgraduate dissertation. What if you use an unpublished manuscript? In other words, you don't even know uh, what uh, if the study is done for for whatever purpose, you only know it is unpublished, but somehow you find it on the internet, for example. So this is an example, two examples, maybe Black and You 2003. This is the uh, title of the manuscript, Pop The Positive Externalities of Having a Dog at Home. Okay, and then uh, in the whole document, you couldn't find further information, whether it is a working paper, conference paper, or journal article. You just couldn't figure out the type of or the nature of publication, then you end by saying it is an unpublished manuscript. Next one, Janssen, Initial J, 2017. This is the manuscript title, Economics Level 1 Curricula Across South African University. Again, you don't see any working paper number, research report number. You don't seem to think that this is a journal article except maybe somewhere on a page you see the logo of the department of higher education then you can conclude by saying it is an unpublished manuscript submitted to the department of higher education okay happy with that now we move on to article from a magazine starting with the case that you know who the author is the name of the author is clearly shown in the article so this is the first example surname is peterson initial c 2015 this is the title of the article real gdp growth and inflation from which magazine or which yeah new magazine okay this issue 29th of march 2018 colon then the page numbers three pages okay a second example Isaac and Voiter, Entrepreneurship in South Africa. This is the title of the magazine, but the name of the magazine is Economist. This issue released on April, April 1st of April 2018, colon, then the pages, five pages in total from 45 to 49. Okay, same old story if the article comes from a newspaper instead of magazine. So let's look at these two examples. Blau, Initial D, 2018, this is the title of the article, The Benefits of Swimming Every Day, from Cape Argus, 5th of May, 2018. Okay, next one. Okay, remember that poor linkage, remember, from the, pre from, 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 the, from, from the previous lecture, summary lecture, what if you have a news article, but you don't know the author, the name of the author is not shown clearly, then all you have to do is just to right at the beginning show the title of the article first one drinking green tea boosts labor productivity 2017 sunday times then the date next one again you don't know the authors so just right from the beginning show the title of the article poor linkage between remuneration and productivity in the south african labor market 2017 from cape times cape times 18th of july 2017 Next one, editorial. I think you know what editorial is. So from Williams S, 2015, on regional trade agreements. After that, you have to put the keyword editorial. It is an editorial from Sunday Times on this day, 25th of November, 2015. Maybe sometimes you use the Legislative Act document. Okay. You are allowed to quote these studies, actually, Legislative Act. So this is an example. Republic of South Africa, 2017, Basic Conditions of Employment Act number 75 from Pretoria, city, remember, city or province of, of, of publication, colon, government printer, okay, the name of the publisher. So if your research essay has to do with labor economics and maybe in a session in chapter two, you want to briefly highlight the post-apartheid new labor legislations, then maybe you really have to use this uh, BCAA, Basic Conditions of Employment Act, and this source has to feature in the reference list. Okay, what if you use a page or website Okay, on the internet? So this is an example, uh, Gujarati 2009 some online instructor resources, basic econometrics instructor resources. After that, you have to show the word online using square bracket, full stop, available, then the link. 
Then after that, you have to show the date that you visited this website. So I just put a, an example here, maybe 2017, 15th of May is the date that I visited this website. Next one, maybe I use the World Bank cross-sectional data. Remember that from one of the earlier lectures on data search, literature search online. So this is how you show this source in the reference list. World Bank, 2018, World Bank data online available then the link and then this is the date that i really went to this website to download the data blog article or yeah you know, i think now with social media is not anything surprising this is the first example for re j 2017 okay this is the blog article title how to improve undergraduate economics pass rate online available the link and then the date you access the website. I mean the blog actually. The next one, Wikipedia, you don't know the author, then just write it at the beginning, show the uh, article title, how to be bold and beautiful at the same time. <laughs> 2015 online, the link, and then the date you accessed or visited this website or the blog actually. Maybe you have personal communication, okay? So, uh, not you actually, someone have personal communication with someone else. So this is an example, maybe Smith, 2014, he emailed uh, Robertson on this date and then you use the communication summary notes or whatever, okay. And then you, let's say this is myself, okay. I really have a telephonic interview with Lutz on this date and then I use the communication key highlights or key outcomes and then I mention the interview outcome in my research essay, but I think it rarely happens at honors level actually, maybe masters or PhD when you really have interview with people or direct communication with people to collect primary data. Okay, ebook, assuming you really get hold of an ebook, okay, Borat, this is the name of the textbook, e version, first edition, Cape Town Jutta. This is the day you visited the website. Let's say Jutta website allows you to download this book legally as PDF file. Okay, happy with that. Other things to take note of what if the year of publication is not clearly shown? Okay, then you would put ND actually. It means undated, you don't know the date. Even in the reference list, you also put ND instead of the exact year. Okay, oh, this is an example in the reference list. Stoves, oh, the initial, I forgot about it on this slide. ND undated, this is the title of the article. And an unpublished report, city, colon, name of the publisher. Okay. And then, okay, what if you have got exactly the same authors, they publish more than one article, more than one study, but in the same year, and somehow you use both studies for your research essay, then you have to use A and B to distinguish one from the other. Look at this, from the Berg and U 2017 A, this is their first study. And then from the Berg and U later in the same year, 2017 B, they have, they co-author a second study and somehow you have to use both studies in your research essay. So this is how you distinguish one from the others, 2017A and 2017B. And in a reference list, you have to arrange your sources in alphabetical order, okay? You can just randomly download a literature or working paper, just check the reference list and you will understand what I meant by alphabetical order. And then we can do some class exercises. Okay. And then the Sotero, you can download the Sotero website. It allows you to do some screen capture. Then the Sotero, Sotero website would type the reference list on your behalf, but beware of the quality. You never know with these software. It's what, how good or how bad the reference list would look like. You might still have to do some manual typing at the end. So we can go through these four sources. Osthuizen, I think this is clearly a working paper. So this is the title. You see, this is the author's name. You clearly spot the keywords working paper 2006. So when you type the reference list, you have to clearly show that this is a working paper and you have to show the working paper number 06103. So the first one, 2006 Osthuizen is a working paper. Next one, Fastest. 
ETO 2016. This is a journal article. You see the name of the journal, Development Southern Africa 2016, Folium 33, issue, the fifth issue of the year. Then these are the page ranges, 579 to 599, and four authors involved. This is the title of the journal article. So remember, there's a difference between the title of the article and the name of the journal, Development Southern Africa, is the name of the journal, okay? Third one, my own working paper, I think, yeah. You, Kasongo and Moses, you clearly spot the keywords working paper, okay? Stellenbosch Economic Working Paper Series. And then the last one, also authored by me with other people, working paper series. Again, you spot the keywords working paper and then the number, working paper number, 31. Okay, and then lastly, you can do this example, your next writing workshop. Okay, I think, okay, it is already open. I think there are five sources for you. Let's go through each of them. The first one. Clearly a journal article, you see the name of the journal, World Development. You see the volume number, issue number, pages, and the year. And there are two authors involved. Next one, second one is a working paper. Do you spot the keywords working paper number by Berger and Yachter? Okay. The third one is a book, I think, by the World Bank World Development Report 2000 and 2001. You can download all the World Development Reports legally, freely from the World Bank website. So in case you pursue a research topic on poverty, I recommend you to download this World Development Report. Okay, Some of the chapters are really good actually to explain the basic concepts on poverty. The next one, Handbook on Poverty and Inequality, it is a research textbook. But what if you only use chapter two for your research essay? Then how are you going to show this in the reference list? you only use chapter two of this book. But previously for the World Bank Source World Development Report, you rather use the whole book. But for this one, you only use chapter two. The last one, I rather use the newspaper article, conversation website, conversation. A news article, this is the title of the news article, co-authored by these two uh, ladies, okay. And then let me pause for 30 seconds and then I will show you the answers. You can actually find the answers from the lecture notes actually. Okay, now I will show you the answers. And again, first do it on your own before you check the answers. Burger and after, this is the name, the title of the working paper. Then after that, you have to name clearly Christ working paper number 76, City, Oxford. And this is the name of the publisher, the Christ Institute Research Institute, based at University of Oxford. Again, you see, I saw the sources in alphabetical order. Second one, the Conversation Africa News article, the authors, remember the initials, year, title of the news article, from which website, Conversation Africa, just like Cake Times and so forth. Online, available, link, and this is the day you visited the website to have access to this news article. Okay, third one. Houghton Encounter, 2009. Remember, you only use chapter two. So you first start off by showing the chapter title, followed by the name of the book, then city, Washington, name of the publishers, and then colon, the pages of chapter two, from page nine to page 38. Fourth one, a journal article, Kingdom and Night, 2004. The uh, title of the journal article, followed by the name of the journal. World Development, colon, volume 32, the third issue of the year, colon, then the pages, 391 to 408. 
Finally, the World Bank Development Report. World Development Report. Remember, I said earlier that for this one, I assume you use the whole book, all the chapters. So, World Bank, two thousand and one. Then the name of the research book. 